Hello and welcome to our presentation. Today we are introducing the Kerr brand Iconetta. Our group consists of Cameron Tomlins, myself Ben Mooney, Lydia Underwood, Robert Wilcock and David Broadhurst. We want to introduce the two brands we have chosen to combine. We have chosen to merge Cornetta and Icon Nutrition in order to make our exciting new product Iconetta. The ideas behind the product is to use healthy, sugar-free ingredients combined with added protein from Icon Nutrition. We intend to use the same great tasting recipe ensuring that in the increased nutritional benefit of the product does not sacrifice that great Cornetta taste. Quick and easy to consume on the go, we provide a convenient, pre-prepared product for those who live Bitly busy lifestyles. First of all, Icon Nutrition is a UK based sports supplement brand that was founded in 2012. They are a sports nutrition brand that focus on designing and creating their products around scientific evidence. Next, we will look at the history of the brand Cornetta. The idea was established in 1976 by the Italian ice cream manufacturer Speaker, who later sold the Cornetta brand to Unilever. Cornetta is branded ice cream manufactured by Unilever and sold under their famous Walls brand. Unilever are constantly introducing new stream, new flavours of Cornetta ice cream, such as the most recent Cornetta Enigma in 2012. Unilever developed the successful marketing campaign, Just One Cornetto, Give It To Me, which originally ran in 1982, and the song was used in resurface advert in 2006. The main competition that we face in the market is from Wayne Hay, who produce protein ice cream. These are sold in pots, in which 500 millilitres contain 20 grams of protein. These pots retail at £6.50. Weihei offer four flavours, banoffee, vanilla, chocolate and strawberry. The main retailers that sell their products are Ocado, Muscle Food, Holland and Barrett and Whole Foods. We also face competition from protein bars from brands such as Maxi Muscle, USN and PhD. Additional competition in the market comes from the pre-mixed protein milkshakes, which are available in gyms. Now, what makes us different? With the iCornetto, it is more convenient after the gym, as the product is pre-prepared and ready to eat. By co-branding with Cornetto, we aim to keep all of that great flavour that people have grown to love, and add in the additional nutritional benefit of Icon protein. We also blow the competition away in terms of the amount of protein our product contains with a massive 20 grams in each cone. This means that you would have to consume a whole 500 milliliter tub of whey hay to get the same intake as just one 90 milliliter Icor Netto. Now next we are going to show you the research that we have done into the ice cream market. As you can see on the graph, ice cream consistently accounts for the majority of the frozen dessert market, 80% in 2014. The graph also shows a steady increase year on year in ice cream sales between 2009 and 2013. This next graph shows that the estimated market value for ice cream was £1,119,000,000. Mintel forecasts expect this value to grow further by £83,000,000 by 2019. This shows that our product has an enormous market to position itself within and also has enormous scope to be successful. Here is a SWOT analysis for the ice cream market which covers the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. The strengths of the market that we have identified are that its products have high penetration levels, therefore we can expect our product to be fairly resilient to potential setbacks. Brands are well established and enjoy strong brand loyalty. Uh, ice cream sales are also almost sure to rise during periods of hot weather. The industry has proved itself adaptable, introducing products that cater for changing social trends. The weaknesses of the market are that there is saturation which has occurred in many areas of the market, especially in core flavours such as vanilla and chocolate. Competition from chilled alternatives to ice cream, such as frozen desserts, has intensified uh, following the successful introduction of meal deals containing chilled puddings. The opportunities of the ice cream market are that there is likely to still be room for product innovation, especially in terms of flavours. There is also a strong demand for premium and luxury products, especially since the rise of the luxury night in trend. Demand has increased for healthier versions of standard products as well, and there is a lot more room to be sustainable uh, and more environmentally friendly during production of these products. In terms of the threats, the success of chilled foods, particularly their inclusion in supermarket meal deals, 
uh, could pose a problem for the market and for frozen desserts in particular. Poor weather in summer could also pose a serious threat to growth in some categories and own labels may have the potential to grow the And now we're talking about the nutrition market. We are now going to show you the research on the nutrition market for which pre-prepared products count for the third largest sector consisting of ready-to-eat and ready-to-drink sports nutrition products. These formats have become increasingly popular owing to their convenient and low-cost single-serve nature. Sales have increased as British uh, people have become more active in the last five years. Keynote forecast dramatic market growth of 34% between 2014 and 2018. British people are being influenced more and more by the government and the media to have a more healthier and active lifestyle. Next, we are going to talk about the strengths, weaknesses and opportunities and threats of the SWOT analysis for the nutrition market. Strengths include that the UK market is becoming increasingly health conscious both in regards to the health, nutrition and physical activity. Nutrition products are becoming economically more affordable as the UK comes out of recession. The weaknesses of the market include the, the fact that there is some concern regarding the potential inclusions of dangerous and unreliable ingredients in sports nutrition products. Opportunities the market presents includes that despite rapid growth, the sports nutrition market remains relatively un undeveloped. The market is also not yet saturated format. Various high brand loyalty can benefit our new product image. The threats of the nutrition market are that many consumers perceive sports nutrition products to be too expensive. The scale of the current obesity crisis is restricting potential demand for sports nutrition products. Now we're going to talk about our segmentation, targeting and positioning. The segmentation of the market in terms of demographics. We are aiming at mainly young, young people aged between 18 to 30, predominantly but not exclusively to males, and people who have a stable income. For psychographics, we are aiming at our, pro our product at those who have healthy lifestyles, are ambitious to improve their physical aesthetic, and have an active personality. Geographically, our product is best suited to those in big cities as they tend to be more on the go and have a busier lifestyle. In terms of behavioural factors, we expect people to have loyalty towards both the Cornetto and Icon nutrition brands, and also those who have expectations of the product being beneficial for them. We aim to use a concentrated targeting strategy as we are marketing to a specific niche of customers. As previously mentioned, we are appealing to active, healthy personalities who may be too busy to prepare themselves a healthy, tasty, high protein based snack. As this is a fairly niche market, we believe it is important to ensure that our promotion is superior to that of our competitors. When we considered our competition, we believe that we have two distinctive advantages. One, Cornetto is a household name. Customers, customer loyalty may prove effective. Two, Icon is a trusted, clean nutrition brand, free of any fraudulent or bad press such as that associated with parinogenics. Avid protein users will recognise this. It is also has a reputation for using high quality ingredients, which is another unique selling point for our product. Position. We then went about the process of creating an image of our pro product in the minds of the target consumer. Currently there is only one dominant competitor in the protein ice cream market, Wayhey Ice Cream. There are also an another snacking protein products such as protein bars. We believe that positioning these products with the same idea of USM, more of a snacking convenience protein ice cream, will provide a differentiation and a unique selling point towards our competitor. Of way a. Our team are going to respond reposition Cornetto using the concept of tangible re repositioning, a different product and a different market, in which we will promote our co branded product to the fitness market. Our desired consumer perception of our product are good quality protein, same great taste of ice cream, nutritionally beneficial, assurance that this ice cream is going to be better for their health. For our positioning to be successful, we have gone through the criteria that are needed to do so. Clarity, consistency, credibility, competitiveness. Next, 
next we're going to talk to you about the integrated marketing communications. We will sell iConnetto as both business to consumer, i.e. directly to gyms. We will also sell from business to business, i.e. to supermarkets and their intermediaries. We will then produce premium pricing for our product. To suit this, we will avoid selling our product in discount stores and instead opt for a more premium supermarket such as Waitrose. We will look to promote our product directly to our target market by using celebrity endorsements through their social media accounts, i.e. Twitter. Free samples will also be offered to the gym members, giving them a chance to try the product. We appreciate that it is important to inform, persuade and remind our customers that this product will not be an unhealthy dessert such as a classic Cornetto. Next, let's talk about the marketing mix. First, price. Our product is going to have a premium price. This is because sports nutrition products are generally becoming more affordable due to the recovery of the UK economy. For this reason, we are pricing our Iconetto at £1.99 for a 90ml cone and a box of four that will price for at £4.99. As you can see, we are using psychological pricing strategy. Products will be premium priced and sold in premium supermarkets. We aim to ensure our price will not be too expensive to price up our potential customers, nor too cheap to diminish profits and damage brand reputations. Our price will be undercutting our competitors such as Weihei, who sells pots of protein ice cream for around £6.50 for 500 millilitres. Our price will hopefully be an indicator of a high perceived quality and nutritional benefits of buying our product. Place. Iconato will be promoted and sold in gyms around London initially, as well as multi-packs and supermarkets, but will be focusing in the product more in a high-end store such as Waitrose and Sainsbury's Local. Our products will be sold directly in retailers due to strong connections that Unilever possess and, rep and the reputation have established with different high street retailers. Because our product is a more convenient product, we are targeting customers on the go, so the product will be available in vending machines within the gyms. The motive behind the initial release being in London is due to its fast-paced environment. Not a lot of people have time to make a healthy, high-protein snacks, therefore our product will suit their needs well. As well as this, being an after gym snack, we want our product to be viewed as a dessert, people to have after eating meals. These consumers are more likely to purchase four packs as they can be stored in freezers at home. Good quality ice cream with an excellent brand, brand reputation enhanced by good quality protein, protein from a brand notorious for using only the highest quality ingredients. We aim to ensure that consumers get the same taste of Cornetto taste with the added nutritional benefit from our icon protein. Now let's talk about promotion. We are using both elements of push and pull promotion strategies here. We are going to push advertising in local gyms around London where our target market will be, which has some elements of pull promotion by letting our target market know about our product and letting them demand it. We will be pushing the product also through music channels because they are played in gyms, meaning that we can attract our target market group quickly. We will also be looking for our products to be endorsed by sport and fitness related celebrities as this would consumers' perceptions of our product You're about our conclusion. To conclude, we are combining the brand Cornetto and Icon to create our product Iconetto, a pre-prepared tasty snack for looking to get into shape whilst endearing to a busy lifestyle. Icon Nutrition is a sports nutrition brand that focuses on designing and creating their products around scientific evidence. They also need to have the purest whey protein on the market and boasts an excellent reputation among bodybuilders. Our competition comes from other protein ice cream products, mainly whey hay. We aim to market our products to young adults aged between 18 and 30, predominantly but not exclusively to males, who live in a healthy lifestyle and are regularly squeezed for time. We will use a concentrated targeting strategy to target our niche market, drawing on distinct advantages such as brand loyalty towards both Cornetto and Icon. We will reposition Cornetto using the concept of tangible repositioning, promoting to the fitness market. We will use the elements of both the pull and push strategy by promoting in gyms around London and advertising through music television channels. We want our consumers to see that iCornetto as a perfect op option for both an after gym snack and for those looking for a high protein dessert.
Thank you so much for listening and I hope that you will see our Iconesso in stores very, very soon.